The Forest Moon Assault Battles are done and dusted for this round, guys. I'm going to show you the teams I saw so that next time it comes around, you're ready to go. My name's Heinze. Thank you so much for joining us. If you're brand new to this channel, smash that red button. Super important to help us grow this channel, but also we got heaps more content coming your way. Okay, guys, let's get into it. Uh, challenge one and two obviously uh, have come and gone. Uh, challenge one, I found relatively easy myself. I had a, a standard uh, General Grievous team. I have him reasonably relicked and, uh, and it basically plowed through that really well. Um, Took me maybe two or three attempts. Uh, what I did find though is you don't need Grievous or a Grievous team to get that challenge and to get those sweet, sweet Zetas. So uh, I did come across this from my man, White Lion, and basically he used a team with an Emp lead, an Emperor, a Palpatine lead, a Vader, a Thrawn, a BB-8, and also a 3PO. Now, the good thing about this team, this cleared it obviously, as you can see, um, the good thing about it is there is not a relic in sight. Uh, there are a handful of six dot mods used on this team to complete that challenge one. So if you're obviously someone out there that, that doesn't have a general Grievous team anywhere near ready, this is a good viable option to at least uh, get the challenge one uh, goodies out of that for you and, uh, and get you some stuff while the event's up. So certainly something to consider, guys, if that's the case. But Grievous is a, a pretty easy uh, team to, to plow through that one. The tricky one, of course, is we all know, Challenge 2. Um, that one is, is quite difficult. Now, the trick with that is pretty simple. Um, wave 4, uh, where you obviously have Tebow and you've got the Elders either side of him, uh, that is the speed bump in the whole event, in that particular battle. Uh, basically, if you can get past that with a full team, you will complete it. It's as simple as that. So, um, obviously... I'm not going to obviously make up a team. I didn't theory craft this. It's been around a fair bit. I actually saw it a few hours after after it launched um, on Reddit. There was a guy that I saw, uh, Rem Laden, who basically put a post up with it with a team that worked great. And I know a lot of other people have obviously covered this team now as a viable option. Um, I used it um, probably around four or five hours ago from shooting this video, and uh, and I actually videoed it so I can show you exactly how it rolled out and I can show you how. I got through it. So let's get into that, guys. I'll show you the team. We'll start off with that, and then we'll discuss some real basic things on, on how to obviously get this up and running and ready to go. So basically, this is where we're at. Thrawn lead, of course, as you know. Uh, BB-8 was thrown in there as well. I used a really solid Magna Guard. Uh, of course, there was B-1 in the action as well. Um, and of course, B-2 was on the back line. So uh, the key with this synergy or the synergy and the strategy behind this team is really simple. Of course, um, you need to build up those stacks of droid battalion. They are super, super important for this run. Um, it just the, the damage output in all of the assists uh, when Magna Guard goes or, or obviously B-2 goes is is enormous so certainly certainly that is the plan of attack now what I did was uh, phase, phase one to phase three um, are relatively easy to be honest um, all you really need to do is just build up those stacks of droid battalion and, and to do that uh, you use uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn uh, the majority of the time to basically swap turn meter with his Grand Admiral's command ability um, you feed it to B1 uh, the idea is that he gets almost 10 I think 7 to 10 stacks every time you feed it there and then he goes straight away you feed it to Magna Guard, and the idea is that you're topping him up with all of his health and protection, so you're keeping him really, really healthy, but also you're adding more stacks of Droid Battalion on top of that at the same time. So that's the key. Basically, what I did was um, you come up against, of course, uh, an Elder. Elder's always the, in the first few waves one that you want to focus on. Um, you want to get rid of those revives. Uh, Scout is obviously the next on the list uh, in the lineup in those waves as well. Uh, that's if, obviously, Elder isn't there. You go after Scout, and then you leave the Warriors to last. They're pretty tanky but but with this level um, you basically can't get killed in the first three waves so you use that time to build these stacks of droid battalion up that's the whole idea up until this point until you get to wave four now just to give you a quick recap on the mods guys super super basic um, I've obviously as I said I've got Magnus super tanky I've got him about 170 um, thousand between the health and protection in total um, I've got thrown reasonably quick around the 290 mark uh, I also have BB-8 around the same I think it was around 270 or 
280 for this run. Um, the idea is that I want B1 super, super fast. I gave him uh, my arena mods, my Darth Revan mods, actually, and that got him up over 300. So um, he get, it gets up and running as soon as possible. And I've got, obviously, full potency on, on my man B2. Uh, you want him to, obviously, um, throw the debuffs out there every time he gets a shot across the board uh, when, he, uh, when he uses his ability. So that's basically a real basic idea on how, the, how I've modded this. Um, hit me up in the Discord server, guys. If you want some more information, I'd be happy to, happy to uh, help you, um, give you a little bit more information if you want that. Now, all that being said, let's get in the run. So as I said, the first three waves, I've managed to put on around 50 stacks of Droid Battalion for the first three waves. So I've gone into this battle with 250 waves, uh, 250 stacks, I'm sorry. Uh, I know that this has been done by my man Lego Calrissian a few uh, few hours ago. He, he got it with 230 stacks, no problem. So it can be done with less stacks, but I like using 250 as a good benchmark to give you an idea, guys. So let's get the run started just to show you how it all played out. Now, uh, it's pretty simple. This is the, 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 the speed hump. We're, in, we're into to wave four here. You go straight after Tebow. Now, the idea is that you basically want to get off two Illuminated Destinies, and you also want to get off two Fractures onto Tebow at the same time. So Illuminated Destiny is up and running now. I'm going straight after Tebow, doing some good, good damage there. As you can see, we've got the extra stacks now kicking in. So we're up to 260 stacks from 250 a second ago, but Magna Guard is full. So... That's the, the beauty of it. This is this is why it works well. The idea is obviously is Magna Guard takes all the hits. He, he's our brick wall in this team. Uh, that basically gives us the option to go straight after Tebow as much and as hard and as quick as possible. The idea is that all the assists from B1, as you can see, every time a Separatist goes or a Droid goes, uh, they're feeding it across and damaging the Elders on the either side, which will put them weakened by the time you knock Tebow out. See, they're all in the yellow at the moment. So we're still beating up, building up those stacks. We're at 275. We're obviously getting the uh, the BB-8 wiggle cooldown, so we're getting closer to that next Illuminated Destiny as well. Uh, Magna copped a big hit then from Tebow, but he's not gone. We top him straight back up again with B1, as you can see. Uh, one of the Elders is gone. Illuminated Destiny's up. We're going to fracture him. He's now in the red. We've wiped him out and he's gone. Obviously, that's that wave gone. From here on, it's easy. You will complete it from this point. We have Ewok Scouts now ready to go. We're going to obviously use a lot of the AoEs will do the difference. AoEs, of course, the area of effect. So the idea is that you're hitting everyone at once. Um, you're going to spread a lot of damage around all of these scouts at once. So you can see all the protection just drop after one hit from our man, B1, with all of those stacks in there. So we're obviously working on it. All the hits are going through Magna. He's copying the brunt of it all, uh, but that's fine. He can handle that. We can do that all day long now. Uh, that's not going to be a problem because our man B1's just going to keep topping him up, keeping him nice and healthy, and uh, and just keep it rolling, keep that train rolling along and just taking all those hits from those murder bears. So uh, it's working really well. We're obviously going to get Illuminated Destiny up as well again, so we'll supercharge a bit in a minute. Uh, B2's doing the business. He's just throwing those debuffs out there. Those uh, it, It's fantastic. The target lock as well, so we can do more damage. Uh, it, it's working you know, really, really well here. We're going to swap with B1, of course, that's exactly what we do there with Thrawn. You just swap it around. B1 goes straight away. He gets the stacks. We're up to 303 now. Magna gets topped up. It's just that cycle. You just keep cycling through that. That's really all you need to do. Um, you use that, obviously, to build up the, the stacks in the first case as well, in the first three waves. So um, it, it works really, really well. So obviously, the next wave, we're into six out of eight now. Uh, we're, we're going after the scout. There's no elder in this particular lineup here, so we're going straight after the scout, and uh, and we will obviously wipe out the scouts as priority. We'll leave the warriors to last, and then we'll wipe them out at the end. So, as you can see, Magnus just copying those hits. He's just taking those hits and then counter-attacking as well. When he counter-attacks, he taunts. Simple as that. So uh, it's working well. We're going to fill him right up again. Full protection, full health. He's not going to die. He's just going to keep building. We're up to 313 stacks now of Droid Battalion. It's working perfectly. That's exactly what we want. So uh, we're, we're rolling here. Thrawn's just done a nice little hit as well. We're wiping them out. We've only got the Warriors left. They are not even going to scratch us. Uh, they're just... We're just going to wipe them out. So give it a second and they will be gone. We move on to the next wave. So it it's, works really well. It's it's super successful. I want to be 100% clear. I did not theorycraft this, guys. It was out there already. A lot of people have covered it. I know, uh, I believe uh, Arnold Cubs has probably covered it as well. I think also uh, I saw uh, Micaeus, uh threw out an alert out there with the, uh, the mods and, and the same sort of strategy. So I'm certainly not going to claim this as my own, guys. But I just want to show you with video how it plays out. 
that's it's it pictures tell a thousand words we know that it's a simple so i thought i'd throw that out there just to give you an idea on on what i did and what worked and how uh but yes yeah, certainly there are there are ways of uh, of getting the information and again hit me up in the server i'd be more than happy to help with anything you need um if there's obviously enough interest i'll do another graphic as well and i'll pop it in the server with all the uh, all the stats and everything that i did in my team and used to get it over the line so uh didn't want to bore you with all that stuff just want to show you the action that's what it's all about isn't it yeah hey all right we're in here we go we're down number seven okay so we've got an elder over the back we're going straight after elder we've got illuminated destiny up here as well basic hit we're just going to keep stunning the stun worked really well there from our man magna he stunned him so that's going to help us too. keep building those stacks we're at 341 stacks fracture throw it out there we're doing some really 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 good important super great just damage is unreal the the output of damage is fan fantastic that's exactly what we want uh, we're getting the wiggles up we're going to go the aoe now beautiful elders gone we're just going to rip through these scouts we're going to move on to the last wave so see what i mean guys 348 stacks um we're just building and building and building we, it, we we can't be wiped out it can't be killed they don't have the damage to actually break through and rip this team apart using this lineup but the key is getting those stacks up especially early now i know some guys even uh, build up stacks higher than that by basically letting elder um revive in the earlier waves uh the other you know ewok scout and all the other guys and actually then kept attacking them to build up more and more and more of those droid battalion stacks so again i like 250 because it worked for me and it's a good you know good average point i think but certainly more than that well that's got to be a bonus doesn't it so we're working through it now uh we're going to rip this warrior apart in a second we're going to go fracture bang we've got him in the yellow eliminated destiny we're just going to wipe him out in a moment guys he's gone and we're going to move on to the next wave all right here we go final wave we're cranking now this is it's just gonna we're just gonna rip them apart again we go straight after elder elder is the one that we want to wipe get the wiggle up and running here beautiful beautiful stuff okay let's throw the aoes let's strip all of those green buffs there uh that that's great uh we got target lock on our man elder as well which is even better so you know we, we're doing exactly what we want to do 365 stacks of, of droid battalion so he's hitting like a truck right now when he assists it, it, it just you know again the damage output's fantastic we're just going to swap again just keep swapping keep swapping that turn meter over to b1 and then he feeds it to magna guard and again he gets those extra stacks and of course magna guard is full health and full protection again so uh, it's it's working beautifully it really is um okay so there you go elder's gone he's sorted he's out for the count uh we're gonna go after chirper now i'm taking chirper out in this case you could probably go after log ray as well but um i, I dance between the two to be honest when i was doing this uh but they're either of those two are the, the next ones you want to focus on basically i wouldn't worry about wicket and i certainly wouldn't worry about the scouts they're the last ones that you wipe out in this uh, in this round so uh the, the, the ones that are annoying, of course, are Chirper and also Log Ray. So taunts up. Every time we counter, the taunt kicks back up again. Uh, B2, he's throwing uh, big hits around across the board, stripping them of all their goodies. And uh, and we're just keeping them all with nice little red, uh, red triangles over their head, which is absolutely beautiful. Okay, here we go. Basic hit. One scout's down. There's no more revives because we've already wiped Elder out, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. And uh, we're just going to clean up these last few wickets gone we've got paplu left we will wipe him apart we will almost complete this really really easily we can see the stacks guys 374 stacks of droid battalion um it just keeps building uh thrawn feeds that to him uh here, here we go again i mean we, we just keep throwing it across to him we're just going to keep assisting it feeding it to b1 377 379 now uh, it just keeps building and building and building and building which is exactly what we want um it, it works great um let's we're just obviously gonna gonna just top up there we're gonna wipe him out gone he's gonna go it's taking a bit longer than i hoped should have cleaned him out quicker but you get the point the point is it's game over he just doesn't even know it yet big fractures wiped him out and we are done and dusted guys and we get those sweet 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 rewards with the uh, relic materials so uh that's simple as that guys it can be done certainly the droid battalion stacks are the trick it's as simple as that there's nothing more to it so i hope that helped guys to give you an idea on on what i did i know there's different combinations out there and, and that's great uh, but but i find that uh, that this is probably the most consistent one that i've seen people use i know a couple of guys have used 3po in there as well and that combination for uh, for confusion and things like that as well but they struggled in that last wave just with the, the damage output so again this is not my team guys 
I just wanted to show you how it played out. It's pretty simple. Um, if you've got any questions as far as my lineup and the mods that I used for this run, by all means, hop into that server. Smashing that Discord server. It's got every other graphic we've done with any of our other videos. You can share it around the place, share it with the world, and uh, and we'll have a ball and we'll do a heap more, uh, heap more videos pretty soon, guys. So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, smash that red button if you haven't already because you're going to miss out on some pretty cool stuff as we go. Feel free to join us on our Harpoons and Beer, our live Grand Arena uh, Championship rounds. We've got some really great battles coming up pretty soon, and we'll see you again on the next video, guys. Have a good one. We'll see you soon.